Welcome to the Edge of Greatness podcast. The path to greatness is never linear and requires patience and consistency. Join us on our journey as we peel back the layers of success, searching for that elusive core. Each week, we will explore a different component of greatness, utilizing experts who have traveled some part of the path that we are all on. We aim to uncover insights into the areas of leadership, coaching, performance, overcoming failure, the power of habits, and so much more. We are all on the edge of greatness. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Edge of Greatness podcast. I'm your host Charles Schultz and we have kicked off season four and was that an awesome episode or what? If you have not had a chance, go download the episode with Jim Tressel as we talk about culture, we talk about leadership, we talk about his sweater vest and what he's doing to help build an incredible legacy of excellence, leadership, and positivity, working through the ranks of head coach at YSU, head coach at Ohio State, and now the president of Youngstown State. So uh, it's an awesome interview. I highly recommend going and checking it out. The other thing I want to talk about today is we are trying to still kind of evolve this chalk talk session. I feel like we've done some decent things. I feel like we've got some stuff we can still improve upon. Uh, Another thing I want to start to do is push some of the apparel stuff that I have going on. If you can see the shirt, if you're watching on YouTube, this is the Edge of Greatness logo shirt. All right, and then I also have the hat that I'm wearing. There are a lot of items available on the website. Everything you purchase does go towards helping make this show happen and fund what we're doing. So if you get a chance, if you like what we're doing, you want to show some support, get some swag while you're at it. I am working on developing a couple new designs, hopefully releasing them in the end of summer early fall kind of timeline but those are a few things that i want to kind of make sure you're taking advantage of one make sure you check out that first episode of season four with jim tressel it is awesome secondly if you haven't been over to the website www.theedgeofgreatnessproject.com has all of the apparel has all the blogs has all the podcast episodes everything you need to see what we're doing and why we're doing it, it's all there. So go check it out. I think it's very cool. Uh, It's an opportunity for you to connect with me a little bit differently. Also has the email so you can reach out to me personally because, again, I'd love to hear from you guys what it is you like, what you want to see change, how we can make this show benefit you more and and help you continue to grow and, and strive towards greatness. So that's what this is all about. For today's episode, I really want to dig into the conversation I had with Coach Tressel. He was talking a lot about leadership, talking a lot about culture. And one of the parts that stood out to me was the conversation about when he stepped into the role of president at YSU, his first thing he did was get his student body leadership group together and ask them what they wanted. And from that conversation, one of the things that stood out to me is that when you take over as a leader, as a coach, or in a high position at work, or whatever it is where you have others that are under your charge, I find it interesting how so often we come in and we try to start making changes right out the gate. This is my team. This is my group. This is my my unit. And I'm going to do it my way. And we don't stop and ask, well, what did they like about the last leadership group? What didn't they like? Where do they think that I need to help them most? There's so many questions that don't get asked from the leadership position. And I don't know why that is. I feel like there's an interesting dynamic that when we step into a role that we're in charge, we want to assert our power. We want to say, look, I am in charge now. I am the leader. We're going to follow my lead. I know what's best. And, and you do probably have some expertise and you probably have some knowledge, which is why you got that position. But that doesn't mean you know what's the right move now. It's okay to sit and watch and see what's going on around you and and pay attention to what the dynamic is currently before you start to change something that maybe was working. You know, Coach Stressel said in the interview, the greatest power of communication is listening. And I think that's a valuable thing that we can learn from as a leader. When you come into a situation where you're new, why not have a meeting with your 
current staff, your returning players, your people that are going to be your sub-leaders of your group, right? We all have captains. We all have people that we put in charge of different projects. Whether it's a work situation or a coaching situation, there's going to be people that we are going to lean on to do more than the others. Why not meet with them and ask them, what are you thinking? That's another thing that Coach Tressel talked about is the W-A-Y-T. What are you thinking? Because if you don't know what they're thinking and you don't know what they're wanting, how are you going to lead them the right way? You know, I, I have a lot of athletes that come and work out with me throughout the week, so I get to hear about their coaching situations on a consistent basis. And it's interesting to me how often I hear they don't know who I am. They don't understand me. They don't really connect with me. They, there's no relationship built. And I, and I find it interesting that that's a struggle that these kids are dealing with when it comes to their high school or their club team. That's, that's disappointing because I feel like the relationship piece allows for a lot of the other stuff to be able to be done. If you want to push a kid, you want to really get him or her to open up and show their true potential, earn their trust by getting to know them. Find out who they are. Ask them how they, how they best respond to coaching. Are they someone who, if you yell at them, they're going to, to rise to the occasion, or are they going to shrink and not respond well? You can't coach every person the same way. You can't lead every person the same way. And if you're not listening to the people around you, if you're not asking the right questions, you don't know how to lead these people. You shouldn't be leading these people. Not everybody's going to fall within this small little spectrum or sphere of this is how I do things. To be a great leader, you have to be able to lead in many ways, and you have to be open to listening to the people who you are in charge of. So for those of you out there who are new to a position of power, whether you're a new coach, whether you're a new leader at work, what, no what, matter what it is, if you are in charge of people, why not ask the people that you're in charge of what they want? How can I help you? Because as the leader, it's not your job to necessarily show them or tell them the way. It's to help lead the way. And you can't lead them in the direction that you want them to go if you don't know what direction they're trying to head or how that can be manipulated or changed. I don't like the word manipulated because it has a negative connotation. But the idea is, is you want to create an environment that helps support their growth. And you can't do that if you don't know your people. So spend time. What do you, what can I do for you? How can I help you? What did you like about the last person in charge? What didn't you like? What would you like to see change? What would you like to see stay the same? These are simple questions that open the door for conversation that can then help you understand how you can best lead your team. So hopefully if you, if you listened to the interview with Jim Trestle, you picked up on a few other things, but that was a big thing that stood out to me is that we don't listen enough. We don't ask the people around us who have been there what they want. How can we best serve you? And as a leader, you should be in the mindset of, I'm here to serve you. It's not, I'm here to show you how to do it, or I'm in charge and it's my way or the highway. That It may work for a minute. You may get some change to happen, but you're going to lose respect of your team, of your group. Yelling and screaming and demanding change doesn't earn respect. You don't get respect because you're in charge. You don't, that's not how it works. So coming in and expecting to be respected or coming in and expecting to be listened to and followed without having earned that right, you're going to be in for a surprise and it's not going to happen. You have to take the time to deserve the respect that you, you want and then to be followed. So keep asking questions, keep listening to the answers, keep doing your best to evolve and change with time. You know, leading is hard. It's never easy to, to understand what the whole group wants. And you're going to make missteps. But you have to understand you were put in charge for a reason. You have the ability to help these people. You just have to be willing to take a step back, to take a moment, to evaluate where you're at, what you're doing, and if you can change. And then if you do that, you're going to see some results. All right? So keep working hard. Keep asking people where to go next. And, you know, as always, guys, keep reaching for the stars. Fall flat on your face. But remember, whenever we fall, always get up.
Thank you for joining us today on the Edge of Greatness podcast. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and join us again next time as we continue to dig deeper into the key components of greatness. The path to greatness is never linear, so remember to keep pursuing greatness no matter what. Keep stretching your abilities, reach for the stars, and fall flat on your face. But no matter what happens, remember, whenever we fall, always get up. Until next time, I'm Charles Schultz, and this was the Edge of Greatness podcast. Thank you for listening to today's episode. Please take a moment now to subscribe, rate, and review our show. We are all on the edge of greatness.